So, this is breaking news, actually. Because right when I kind of sheltered myself off the world, made the uploaded the Spider-Man video, the Spider-Man movie ranking, which is available on the channel right now, Mar Disney, not even just Marvel, just Disney in general, decided to delay some movies, reveal movie release dates, whatever. Now, I don't know if this is because of the writer strike. I think the writer strike might have a reason for some of these. But again, some of these were already filming before the writer strike even happened, while other movies like Thunderbolts and Blade and maybe Fantastic Four were not filmed yet. Because of the Rider Strike, although Fantastic Four would film next year anyways. But Thunderbolts and Blade are the main two corporates here behind, like, the movies impacted by the Rider Strike. So, let's talk about all the Marvel delays. Now, Disney, I'm going to just emphasize, they revealed two new Star Wars movies for 2026. They delayed Avatar 3 till December of 2025. And they revealed the release date for the live-action remake of Moana. But... Most of the movies that were shifted around were from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And as we know, as I said, I think the writer strike did have an influence on this. But we also know that Marvel has been delaying a lot of projects so that they can be better, so that they can be higher quality. And even though I'm a little burnt out on the MCU at this point, I am still interested in some of these movies. And I think some of the moves are actually interesting. And the first movie we're going to talk about is not even a delay, but is Deadpool 3. Now, Deadpool 3, ironically enough, was actually moved up from its release date. If you remember, Deadpool 3 was slated for November 8th, 2024. I don't think any movie uh, was given the November 8th release date, but now Deadpool 3 has been given the massive honors of kicking off the summer movie season, and that means Marvel truly believes in this project. Like the movies that kick off the summer movie season under the MCU are massive movies. These are movies that the fr the, the studio think are like going to be big deals. Like this year was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Last year was Multiverse of Madness uh, and etc. The movie that was originally supposed to kick off the summer movie season next year was Captain America, but we're going to see that Captain America got delayed to a further release date. So this is the only movie. That actually moved up from its release date. And I think this just shows a huge confidence Marvel has. And on top of that, that they do not want to lose the kick off the summer movie season or uh, release date at all at any given point. And honestly, I think Deadpool 3 is a stronger movie to kick off the summer movie season than Captain America. Now, the only real problem is that the movie's rated R. And again, I, I'm not saying that's a problem with the movie. I'm saying in terms of, like, appeal, it might not debut the biggest at the summer movie season. But at the same time, this is a movie that will have Hugh Jackman reprising his role as Wolverine. And we have Deadpool and Wolverine in the same movie. So maybe Deadpool 3 will be just fine. But I just think it's interesting that Disney was like, damn, we should really make this R-rated comic book movie kick off the summer movie season. But it really just shows how much Deadpool has grown, has a brand. You know, he kind of started off in February. Like, again, really think about it. 20th Century Fox did not believe in Deadpool as a movie. Ryan Reynolds had to fight for it. They kind of was like, all right, we'll give it a February release date. We'll, we'll maybe try it out. And now Deadpool has has became a heavy hitting franchise and so the third movie even kicking off the summer movie season is probably the biggest honor the deadpool brand has ever gotten but we're not here to only talk about move ups we have to talk about delays and the two avengers movies got delayed again that's right i said again because originally secret wars was supposed to come out the same year as Kang dynasty in 2025 but Secret Wars got delayed to May 1st of 2026. Now Avengers the Kang Dynasty got delayed to May 1st of 2026. And now Secret Wars is not coming out until May of 2027. And in my opinion, they should delay the Avengers movies as much as possible. Because they... they listen, Marvel Studios have took a lot of hits. Sure, Guardians 3 was pretty good, but that's like more of a James Gunn victory. So Marvel needs to prove themselves that, okay, we can do good even without James Gunn. They can't afford their Avengers movies to be at risk. They already fired Jeff Loveness to, as the writer of Kang Dynasty. And obviously, right now, they can't hire a new writer to start the script because of the writer strike right now. So we don't have a writer for Kang Dynasty at this moment. So Because they're not going to use the Jeff Loveness script version. 
On top of that, I don't want to, you know, make this a big thing. You have the issue with Jonathan Majors right now. What is Marvel going to do with Jonathan Majors? Are they going to keep him? Are they going to recast him? Are they going to get rid of Kang? So Avengers of the Kang Dynasty is in worse shape than it had just a year ago. Just a year ago when they announced Kang Dynasty. It was like, oh man, yeah, that's definitely coming 2025. I don't even know if Kang Dynasty is even going to be made, to be honest with you. They, they might turn it into something else, maybe. So we'll see how Kang Dynasty we'll see how Kang Dynasty shakes up. Secret Wars, however, they're definitely going to do. Michael Waldron is still on the movie, but obviously he can't write anything because of the writer strike. But at the same time, you know, they don't even have a director for Secret War. So these two Avengers movies need to kind of, in a way, um, absolutely need to be worked on. I think they shouldn't even be scheduled right now. Marvel, especially Kang Dynasty. So I'm not surprised these movies are delayed uh, at all. And we'll see what happens, especially with more Kang Dynasty. I feel Kang Dynasty is in a worse shape than Secret Wars, but... In Marvel's plan, it has to come out before Secret War. So we'll see what they do with Kang Dynasty. But what took Avengers Kang Dynasty's over release date was the Fantastic Four, which got the May 2nd, 2025, which is a pretty big deal. They're giving Fantastic Four, I already talked about this with Deadpool 3, they're giving Fantastic Four the kickoff the summer movie season thing. That's a big deal for the Fantastic Four. Because this is a property that has had trouble in the cinema space. Now, I'm a big Fantastic Four fan. I love these guys. I'm actually kind of a little interested in this movie. I'm not going to say I'm excited. But I am interested. You know, it's obvious they're still kind of casting right now. And filming isn't going to start until 2024. So, it makes sense. Fantastic Four, uh, the script is very much locked down at this point. It's just that they have to wait till filming for next year. Which is apparently going to be in January. So, the script is for sure locked down. Uh, but recently, you know, I mean, I hope the script is locked out because recently, well, a few months ago, before way before the writer strike, they announced that the writer for Avatar 2, uh, even though I didn't care for Avatar, I think he's a more qualified writer to write a Fantastic Four movie than the original people they got. So, I think Deb DeLay, I think Fantastic Four does deserve to start a movie season. I think you should really highlight how important the Fantastic Four are. So this is a big win. I think this is a big win for Fantastic Four, and I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. But at the same we're gonna talk about another movie that uh, we'll see if it's still in phase five. I have a feeling they might have pushed this movie into phase six a little bit. But uh, and then you know we have Comic Con coming up, so they might reveal more stuff. But yeah, Fantastic Four is gonna kick off the summer movie season. And actually coming out for the holiday season now as i said earlier in the video they delayed avatar 3 to december of 2025 disney does not want to lose the december 2024 release date i feel like they value the december release date far more than they value having the november early november release date because early november it's whatever december is like christmas so they decided to pick thunderbolts as the movie and I think Sonic 3 has an easier competitor than um, than Avatar. Because uh, Thunderbolts, I don't know. Uh, I think that I think both movies could still thrive. But I don't know if Thunderbolts should have been the movie to really be the holiday movie. You know. Because there has been an MCU movie that, deb that debuted in December. And that was Spider-Man No Way Home. I feel like December blockbusters have to be big. I don't know if Thunderbolts is really that big blockbuster movie that will do very well in December because that's what December is. You, Sonic 3, you're going to have the big family movie, which is going to be Sonic 3. Last year, it was Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. This year, I don't even know. I don't even know. I think it's Migration from Illumination. So, hey, that rhymed. But, you know, so you're going to have Sonic 3 be the big family movie. So what's going to be the big blockbuster movie for December? And they pick Thunderbolts. I don't know if Thunderbolts is that. I think Captain America probably would have been a better, you know, holiday blockbuster movie. But maybe Thunderbolts, maybe there's something in Thunderbolts where Disney's like, yeah, this could do very well. On top of that, this movie is heavily delayed 
because of the writer strike. It's very, it's guaranteed at this point. This was one of the ones that was delayed because of the writer strike, because they even they haven't even started filming, and they got new writers, the writers of the Netflix show Beef, to do the Thunderbolts movie, and I don't know if they finished the script, but like Thunderbolts was supposed to be filming earlier, like this. Actually, I think it's supposed to be filming this month, but they delayed it because of the writer strike. And we don't know when Thunderbolts is going to film. So I think December is a safe release date for Thunderbolts. But I don't know if Thunderbolts is really that big December blockbuster movie. But that, but pretty much 2024 is good. You have Deadpool 3 kicking off the summer. You have Thunderbolts uh, in December. And now you're going to have Captain America in late August. Uh, which is interesting. I think it might be taking Blade spot. I'm, 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 you know, it's very interesting that they picked uh this release date now i think they met september 6 because when i checked on the calendar i'm gonna check on the calendar right now i think august 26 is a i think august 26 is a monday i'm checking it yeah august 26 is a monday so i think they mean september 6 2024 or July 26, 2024, like one of those two dates. So uh, I'm going to double check it. I think that was an error on discussing films. So hold on one minute, guys. We're going to go through this. But Captain America 4 is already filming. It's actually far more in development of filming than Deadpool 3. But I find it interesting that Marvel, or at least the people over at Disney is like, we're going to delay Captain America. We're, we're not going to kick it off the summer movie season. And part of me, now I do think Captain America could be a good movie, but I think part of me is like, they they are not too confident in it being a movie to kick off the entire summer movie season. I don't think they think that's a movie to kick off the summer movie season. And I was right. So discussing films made a mistake. Captain America New World Order is actually coming out July 26, 2024, which makes more sense uh, than August because August that's a Monday and it's not going to take Blade Spot. So 2024, we're having Deadpool 3, Captain America and uh, Thunderbolts. And I think that's going to be the entirety of Phase 5. I think the entirety of Phase 5 for movies is going to be Quantumania, Guardians 3, The Marvels, Captain America, Deadpool and Thunderbolts. And that's fine. I think that's an OK thing to have uh on top of that i also truly believe uh and i know a lot of people are gonna be like wait what you're i truly believe that captain america in july is probably better for the movie um the first captain america came out around a similar time so i think you know i you know july 4th would have been the ideal release date for captain america but at the same time do you really want to compete with despicable me 4 i don't think so and that's not even a joke. Despicable Me is a powerhouse franchise. So I don't know if Disney would, would be like, you know, we don't want to deal with that. We're already going up against Sonic 3 with Thunderbolts. We're just going to give Captain America the end of July. So there's that. And so Deadpool 3 pushed Captain America back. Which leads to the final movie that is just never going to come out, Blade. Blade has been delayed so much. The movie could even lock. This is way before the writer's strike. The movie could have locked down its script. Back in October, they had to rewrite the script. The movie was supposed to come out November 3rd, 2023. Then it got delayed to September 6, 2024. And then they had to do another rewrite of the script. And so Blade, Blade has been having so many issues. And this movie was announced back in 2019. Comic-Con of 2019. Every project announced or hinted at in 2019 has already came out for the exception of fantastic four and mutants but we know fantastic four we know what's going on with that mutants we don't know what's going on with that but we know they're working on it and as of right now in terms of an actual movie that was properly announced back in 2019 blade is the only one that still has not come out yet even movies like Spider-Man No Way Home that wasn't even announced at Comic-Con have already came out. So Blade has just been having issues. 
So now it's delayed to February 14th, 2025. Uh, so Valentine's Day of 2025. I think this movie might just kick off phase six. I think that. But I also feel it's too soon. It's too close to uh, Thunderbolts. There's really only a month break, but at the same time, I guess Marvel has always done that, so it's it's whatever. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really even confident that Blade will even turn out as a movie. I think at this point, they've delayed it so much. They haven't been able to nail the script. They've disappointed Mahershala Ali. I think this is getting to the point where Marvel should just drop Blade. They should just not do it at this point. Because there's been so many problems in, with this movie that... You continuously delay it, delay it, delay it, delay it. It, it, it. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe Marvel, it's not meant to be for a Blade movie. And I know that's going to be a hard pill to swallow for Marvel because the only movie they have ever canceled in the studio's illustrious career has been the Inhumans movie. I think Blade might have to be put on the shelf. I think for now, Blade is just not meant to be. It's just not meant to be. It's not supposed to be made. Uh, they've tried so much, but, you know, at what point is too much? At what point is it too much? At what point where you're like, this is just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to do that. So, Blade, the last movie to get delayed. So, in short, yeah, a lot of these movies are not coming out very soon. But... For now, I think that's a good move. I think Marvel needs to space out their properties. I think they need to take their time with these. The only movie I feel uh, I think should not be made is Blade at this point. But anyways, guys, uh, what are you most excited for? Are you tired of the MCU? Do you think these delays are good? Are you disappointed by these delays? Tell me in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.